The prophet Isaiah is the most quoted in scripture of all prophets. His book is a book of doctrine, prophecies, and poetry. By reading and understanding Isaiah's writings, we can learn more about the coming of the Savior. Isaiah wrote about both the Savior's first coming and his second coming. Isaiah's main message is about the Savior and his work. But we can also read about Latter-day Temples, the scattering and gathering of Israel, the coming forth of the Book of Mormon, and the restoration of the Gospel. Isaiah describes the atonement and the Savior's love for us. He tells us of the destruction that will come to the earth in the last days, and also explains what conditions will be like in the millennium. We see that the book of Isaiah is a treasure chest of gospel topics, many of which you are familiar with. In order to help us find these treasures, and additional ones, we have been given some extra helps in the LDS edition of the Bible. Two very important helps are the chapter headings and the footnotes. There is a heading for every chapter in the Bible. The chapter headings were approved by the First Presidency and the Quorum of the Twelve. These headings give a brief overview of the chapter and also contain other information to help us understand as we read. We can, for example, find clues about which time period Isaiah is speaking. Isaiah wrote about three different time periods. His own time, the time when the Savior would live upon the earth, and the last days. Notice that the heading uses the words latter day, millennial, and second coming. As we read the chapter, we know the things we read fit into the time frame of the last days. The headings also tell us where we can compare writings of Isaiah found in the Book of Mormon. In the Book of Mormon, Isaiah is quoted with significant changes and also commented upon. The Book of Mormon and other scriptures are the best commentary we have on the words of Isaiah. So watch in the chapter headings for other scriptures that help in the interpretation of Isaiah. The headings sometimes give us an interpretation for symbols. In this chapter, Isaiah writes about a vineyard. We learn from the heading that the vineyard represents Israel. As we read the chapter, we know that we should compare the story of the vineyard to the house of Israel. Notice that in some of the headings we find the word messianically or messianic. This comes from the word Messiah and means that the chapter speaks of the Savior. By reading the headings, we can get a quick overview of the chapter, receive insights as to the time period the prophecy pertains to, find out about parallel chapters in the Book of Mormon, and get insights into interpretations of the chapter. The chapter headings are one of the best helps we have as we study Isaiah. In addition to the headings for each chapter, there are footnotes at the bottom of every page in the book of Isaiah. Notice that there are three footnotes, A, B, and C, for verse 1 in chapter 29. Footnotes can give different types of information. Footnote 1A shows us that there is an extended Joseph Smith translation of verses 1 through 8. We can find this in the appendix after the Bible Dictionary. The Joseph Smith translation shows what additions and corrections have been made to the text. Italicized text in the JST entries shows additions. Only the longer changes are included in the appendix. JST changes that are shorter are found right in the footnote. Footnote 1b gives us an alternate translation of the Hebrew word. In this case, Ariel refers to the temple. This verse is about a city with a temple. This verse speaks of the city where David dwelt, and the footnote tells us this refers to Jerusalem. By using the footnotes, the writings of Isaiah become more clear to us. Cross-references in the footnotes can help us interpret the Isaiah passages we are reading. Let's look at some of the other scriptures that help us understand Isaiah. Verse 3 says, And I will camp against thee round about. The footnote for this phrase refers us to a cross-reference in the Book of Mormon. When we look up 2 Nephi 26.15, we discover that Isaiah is speaking of the Nephites and Lamanites. Continuing from verse 3, he says, And thou shalt be brought down, and shalt speak out of the ground. 
and thy speech shall be low out of the dust, and thy voice shall be as of one that hath a familiar spirit out of the ground, and thy speech shall whisper out of the dust. We learn from verse 3 that he is speaking of the Lamanites and Nephites. These footnotes give us another cross-reference and a topical guide heading. When we read Moroni 10.27, we find out that Moroni is like one speaking out of the dust. We can see that this prophecy tells us that after the Lamanites and Nephites have experienced great destruction, they will speak to us from out of the ground. You can see that there are different types of footnotes to help in understanding Isaiah. The footnotes include cross-references, Joseph Smith translation changes, alternate explanations, and topical guide topics. All of these helps can give clues so that we can interpret Isaiah's writings. Understanding Isaiah is dependent upon several things. We have looked at just two skills, using the chapter headings and footnotes. As you practice these skills and make a habit of using them, your ability to understand Isaiah's writings will increase. Much effort, time, and pondering are necessary to understand Isaiah. We must also have the Spirit with us as we study. The Savior gave a commandment to search the words of Isaiah. He said, Yea, a commandment I give unto you that ye search these things diligently, for great are the words of Isaiah.